Our top story at six with Christmas less than three weeks away. Santa's elves are hard at work making all the toys on your child's wish list. But if you plan on buying toys, there are safety guidelines you should know and remember. 41 NBC's Andrew Willis spoke with a pediatrician about hazardous toy parts and stopped by a store to find out what toys are safest for young children. Every kid loves opening up a present on Christmas morning to find their favorite toy inside. But it's important when shopping for the right gift to know which toys are age appropriate for your child. From board games to building blocks, Williams Fun Smart Toys in Macon's Ingleside Village carries toys for kids of all ages. But not all toys are safe for young children. That's why store owner Florence Allen says always check safety labels before purchasing a toy. Every child's different, so it's all going to vary a little bit. Uh, and I also ask age because um, I'm real big on getting something that's age appropriate for the child. Allen says age ratings indicate if a toy is safe for a child rather than the child's physical or intellectual ability. Toys with small pieces like blocks, batteries, or magnets can be dangerous for children younger than three. The small parts and choking is uh, one of the most common things that are seen in the ER with toys. Pediatrician at Atrium Health Navicent, Dr. Christy Peterson, recommends buying toys from a reputable source to ensure the safety information is accurate. If the price is too good to be true, it probably is. It probably is a knockoff. It may not be safe. It may not follow the standards uh, that we have in this country for um, safety in children. She says things like crayons or markers may contain harmful substances like lead paint, so make sure the product is labeled as non-toxic. If you plan on giving a child outdoor toys like scooters or bikes, be sure they also have safety equipment like helmets and padding. And on Christmas morning after gifts have been unwrapped, throw away any loose plastic or other packing materials that a child might grab. Now Florence Allen tells me that if you live in a household with multiple children, it's best to put away those toys with small parts in a safe place like a storage bin or somewhere high where a small child cannot reach. In Macon, Andrew Willis, 41 NBC News. And you can find toys that have been recalled by the Consumer Product Safety Commission at cpsc.gov slash recalls.